going on guys? Hunter here. Today I want to talk to you about how to stay positive when everything feels like it's going wrong. When the world feels like it's falling down, how do you stay positive in your head? How do you make sure that you have a fantastic day? I'm going to go over a few tips for you right now to make sure that you can stay in a positive headspace no matter what life throws at you. Now I know what you're thinking, oh no, another one of these videos, and straight, another one of those videos. Well, what's different about this one? Stay to the end and you will find out. Step one, staying positive in a negative environment. You need to set proper expectations for yourself and understand that you might not always be positive. <sighs> Mind blown, I know. To be positive, it does not always mean you have to feel great or feel amazing. But what you want to do is to feel empowered. Feel empowered about the ability for you to control your outcome. And I know sometimes there are things that are outside of our control. Sometimes we don't give ourselves enough credit and don't give ourselves enough responsibility for how we feel on a day-to-day -day basis. So by setting the expectation that you're not going to necessarily feel great all the time, you're taking the pressure off yourself to feel great all the time. Now that you've got the proper expectations, we're gonna hop into number two. Tip number two is have perspective. Perspective, perspective. And when we dive into perspective, I wanna tell you a little story that I had just earlier this week. Earlier last week, my brother and I watched an old movie that we had watched before called Grave of the Fireflies. And Grave of the Fireflies is about a fire bombing on Japan and hundreds of thousands of homes were burned and kids were displaced from their families. And really, it's a fantastic story, but not a happy one. It is a sad one. And in this anime movie, a little girl and her brother who lost both of their parents in the war, they died. And the reason they died was not because they got any crazy illness. It's because they did not have any food. They did not have any nutrition. They died of starvation. After I watched this movie, and it was like really late too, my mind was racing, I got, I got thinking like, how big of a problem is this now? If this was the 1940s and obviously during a war, how big of a problem is starvation today? So I looked it up and over 3.5 million children, children die every year from hunger and malnutrition. And that just made me realize that that is the real problem here. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now but how come none of that is getting as recognized as, as this is? And the answer is we're just so detached to it. It doesn't make us bad people, but take that perspective and realize that things can be seeming very bad for you right now, but your bad day is somebody's great day and you actually have a chance to live an amazing life because if you're watching this video, you have an opportunity. You were given a chance on this planet to do something special. You were given a gift and you may know what that gift is or you may not yet, but I promise you, you have it. And you are helping somebody with that gift right now. You are so important to somebody else's life. And I hope that you realize that, that you bring them so much joy and you've given so much to them that if they didn't have you in their life, it would, it would be devastating. There's an influencer online named Gary V. You probably heard of him. And he says that we had one in one trillion odds, I think it was even more, but one in one trillion odds to become a human. We could have been a book, we could have been a phone, we could have been a water bottle. But no, we were born as a human in our current age and this is one of the best ages of all time. Look, I know you've heard all this before, but it's always good to just remind yourself of how good we have it. So be thankful for what you have. Which leads into the third tip, which is of course, be grateful. Sometimes when you lose something or things seem to have been taken away from you, you, you tend to focus on those and it takes sight away from the things you still have. Maybe you still have your family and you still have a place to live that's safe. Maybe you just have a camera in front of you that lets you be creative and put something out positive in the world. Whatever that thing is, I want you to acknowledge it and focus on that and that will bring joy and happiness into your life. So now that you've set your expectations to a place where you're not putting a lot of pressure on yourself and you've got a different perspective that makes you realize that we are living in a time that is the best time to live on this planet and you're putting your focus on the things in your life that are there that you love, that you still have and that you're grateful for. 
then you are well on your way to feeling positive and again feeling empowered. And at the beginning of this video, I, I said at the end I would give you something special. What makes this video different? From all those other hippity dippity positive videos, what's different about this video is energy. Because through this camera, you can feel my energy and hopefully you feel how great I feel now. Look, there's a lot of things I'm afraid of in life, but here's what I know is that we do have so many great opportunities and that I have so much in my life that I am so blessed to have. And I know that I have a gift to communicate that energy to you through this camera. So if somehow you can harness this crazy energy of mine, right, and get it through the lens into you, that's gonna help you move those three points into something that is actionable, into something that might make you feel really good. So look, that's all I've got for this video. I just wanna say thank you for staying through. I want you to know that, look, you can do it, whatever it is, you're going through hard stuff, you will get through, I promise you that. And try and find something that makes somebody else happy because if there's anything that I know works for me personally, it's making somebody else smile. Because when I can make somebody else smile, I know they're happy. And I also know that I have some value on this earth to provide and to make other people's lives better. So look, I don't want to end this here. I want you to keep going. I want you to stay in this headspace you're in right now if you're feeling positive. Look, I've got a video right here for you I just made the other day. And it's going to, one, feed my two tuxedo cats. They're hungry. They need to eat, uh, two. But it's going to give you some more tactics on how to be in a positive mindset in a tough time. So check out that video and please consider subscribing down below.